So here's a, another week of uh, new sneaker releases. Um, I'm going to start off with the previous releases that came out the pretty much the week before. And the first one that's up on the July the 12th is the Stussy Nike LD1000. Uh, these released on, I think it was the 12th of July for Stussy website. And the white and blue colorway was an exclusive to them. And I think they released on the 17th or the 18th or maybe the 19th on the sneakers app in the UK and EU. Uh, not, not my cup of tea. I do like the material switch up, but just not kind of the trainers that I would tend to wear. And therefore, for me, it's a, a two out of five. And then next up is the uh, Nike MX1 Olympics. I actually saw someone wear these uh, pretty much on the day of release, uh, which is quite strange because usually you don't see that straight away. And uh, it was quite sort of local to me as well. But uh, on feet, they do look very nice and obviously pretty much the same as an uh, obsidian pair, but with the swoosh switched out for a gold one. It does look nice, but uh, I don't need it in my Air Max one collection, but I do appreciate it. And then we also had the, the release of the Nike Air Footscape Woven Denim. I think the light blue pair dropped first and then the dark blue pair came out, I think, a three day, few days afterwards. And uh, it's a nice sort of comfortable sneaker, especially if you want something a bit more formal to wear, sort of smart casual, then this is like a, a perfect sneaker for that. And uh, it works well sort of spring, summer time. I did have a review up on uh, two different pairs that I, I reviewed, which are both sort of leather suede materials. But I, I'm, a big, I'm, a, I'm a fan of these. I think they're nice. And then also on the 15th, the Crazy Infinity Chalk White. I actually like this uh, the look of this one. Uh, it's still sort of a boxy, you know, like you're wearing a, a minivan on your feet. But uh, at the same time, it's uh, this one's the nicest colorway in my opinion. I just think it works really well in white, uh, but just expect it to get dirty. And these didn't release in the UK and EU, but uh, it was the Adidas uh, stateside soccer collab. So obviously being stateside, I'm assuming though that they released over there. Uh, and the date was uh, the 16th of July. Uh, I do like that the fact that they've got the different colorways for the different teams and the team logos on there. But at the same time, I'm just not really into these sort of 70s style um, Adidas trainers. And then also that released is the Nike Jam uh, Dark Driftwood and Black Gum. So these are made for breakdancing and were sort of mainly made for this year's Olympics uh, in 2024 where breakdancing will be a feature. And... Uh, it's a cool sneaker. I should have a review for their dark driftwood color up soon. Uh, I'm not sure if they released stateside just yet. I think it's a few more days for that, maybe on the 20th. But uh, it's a, still a, a cool looking sneaker. A good one for you know the, the youngsters out there, I think. And then also we've had this release a few weeks back uh, in the skate shops in here in the UK and EU. And it's the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro uh, Trocadero Gardens. Uh, it's not a bad sneaker and uh, you know it's nice. I think if I didn't have some of the other SB Dunk Lows that I have at the moment, then I'll definitely be on the lookout for this, but I've kind of earmarked the SB Dunks that I want, and one of them was the uh, Big Money Savings, and then the other one was the Futura one, and possibly the Safari one, which is coming later on to maybe to pick up. And then also that was released is the uh, New Balance 991 V2 made in UK, and this is a pink colorway. I think this is released in the States, but not in the UK at, at the moment. And then next up we have the Nike Book One Python. Again, I think this released in the States. I didn't see it being released in the UK or the EU. Uh, we've had the Lilac Bloom colorway release. And then on the 19th, uh, which was, I think today, uh, the Salehi Banbury Crocs. Uh, this was like the classic cl clogs. It's a, a mix between the two different models. So it's taken the upper from a, uh, I suppose, a standard croc mule and the bottom from uh, I suppose the Soleil Bambri because he's got his sort of signature footprint on it um just not too much of a fan of sort of croc sneaking in general but you know uh, I can't be mad at this one it still looks cool and uh, an easy sort of slip on shoe to wear and then we have the Jordan 3 WNBA uh, camo which I think is also referred to as the Tex I'm just not a fan of these I love the Jordan 3 but this one just just not doing it for me I'm afraid and then also the Nike Air Safari. So this to me looks similar to an MX1, but again, just the colorway. It's just not my not my thing. I don't mind Safari print. Depends on the sneaker, but with this one, it just looks really off, and the colorways that they chose just doesn't look right to me. 
And then also what was released was the Puma Le Melibor Le France, and uh, this is his sort of streetwear sneakers. Uh, they're on the chunky side, again, aimed at a younger audience. Uh, not something that I would be interested in, in all honesty. It looks like more of a sort of chunky skate shoe. And then also the New Balance 1906U, which was the Whitaker Group collab. Uh, three different colorways. Again, I'm a huge fan of the 1906, but with this one, just not feeling them at all. And then here in the UK and EU, the Nike Phone Posit Royal. Um, this colorway is nice, but I think for me, I've just not found all certain phone posits where they're really sort of shiny, and that, that is obviously the selling aspect. But I kind of like the ones that are sort of more neutral, where you've got a white or a black colorway. Uh, but this one is nice if you're kind of a fan of phone posits. It's a, probably a must have. And uh, hopefully, going to try and see if I can secure a pair of these is the AE1 Low MX Silver Pebble. And uh, I think hopefully these are sort of slightly more comfortable than the highs in, in terms of the forefoot. Um, with the, the way the lace structure is on the highs, I have a bit of an issue with the top of the forefoot area. So I'm hoping like the lows, which I tend to wear more anyway, I tend to wear more lows. Um, so I'm hoping I can get one, one of these so I can sort of also review them as well. And then I'm not mad at this one, it's the uh, high version, which is the MX Charcoal. I also think this looks very, very nice as well, but uh, again, just the issues I mentioned, I'm probably not going to be in the market for this. And some upcoming releases for next week. First one up is the uh, Air Jordan 1 Low Barons. This is already released in the, in the UK. I've got a review up, and uh, I think it's a you know a nice sneaker, actually, and uh, the leather materials aren't too bad on this. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's got Chicago color blocking on it. It's a neutral sneaker. And I don't mind it personally, I think it's nice. It's just been sitting here in the UK and the EU. So I probably will pick it up on sale, I guess. And then you've got the uh, Nigel Sylvester uh, Air Jordan 4, which is called the Grandma's Driveway Fence Green Color. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I think it's more the hype around the sneaker and probably the materials that I use in terms of its textures because some of the other sort of GR versions seem to be, you know, have a look a bit more sort of cheaper materials on them. So, but. You know, if you just want something which is more of a hype collab and you're interested in the Jordan 4 Arium, I expect these to sort of sell out pretty quickly and they're, they're supposed to be limited in numbers anyway. And these are already released on the Jacques Mousse website. This is the Air Max 1 in white and red. And then I think there was also another colorway, I think maybe blue. But with these ones, I'm just not feeling them at all. I just think, you know, for I like the, the inspiration and, you know, doing something different, but they're just not clicking with me. Um, I think it's not something that I would tend to wear. And same goes for this uh, 1906A uh, Refined Future. I'm not sure what the A refers to, but I'm assuming it's probably the distinguish this model from the R. And it's just using sort of over accentuated sort of panels, you know, similar to a the protection pack. And for me, I'm just, there's something about this sneaker, I'm just not feeling it while I'm looking at the pictures. Um, maybe it's different if you see it in hand, but at the moment, there's so many other sort of 1906Rs out there with nicer colorways that, for me, I'm not too fussed on getting these. And then also what's going to be sort of announced recently is the uh, Air Jordan 39. It's going to be coming in with a bunch of colorways. Um, it's okay. It's not anything special. I'm hoping they do something extravagant and game changing for the, the 40th edition, um, which, which will be next year. But let's see. And uh, I'm a fan of these particular sneakers. They look nice and quite sort of neutral. I, I do like the safari print on this one. And I think the colorways that they've chosen where it's like predominantly white with the black. And then you've got the, the hit of orange on the sock liner on, on the, the heel tab. And then you've got the blue laces. It's just something about that just kind of makes it, um, I suppose, a nice sneaker for me. I wouldn't say it's a five for me, but I might be interested in if I can sort of pick these up for retail. And then also, I think this particular version as well, the SB PSA uh, Olympic. Um, I don't think I've ever had this model before, so I'd be interested in grabbing it. And it seems to be using sort of flyknit technology and looks similar to the SB Dunk as well. So I, I actually like the, the way these look. And I'm not a fan of these, but I just wanted to mention them because it's part of the whole uh, Olympic Safari pack from Nike. I think there's probably like seven or eight different models in, in different categories. And uh, this is a, another one more for sort of lifestyle wear, I guess. Uh, not a fan of them, but some people might be, but it's the Air Max DN. And uh, this is a bit of a latecomer, really. So it's called the Adidas Artillery 24. I'm assuming it's a, a, a one of those sort of newer silhouettes or being brought back. I've never seen this one before, but uh, it looks cool. Uh, got that sort of retro vibes, but also 
has sort of modern day paneling on it. And then you've got this uh, collab with uh, Sandy Liang uh, with Salomon. I like Salomon products. I think they're really good, especially for like wearing for hiking and trailing, trail kind of uh, use and also being out in the wet. Um, the perfect sneakers for that kind of weather. And uh, this one, I'm not too mad at it, but it's not something that I'd be sort of, I suppose, grabbing. But it does look cool, but, you know, mostly sort of for fashion wear. I kind of like the fact that Salomon have trainers that are... Like I said, more for durability and hard wearing type uh, purposes. And then these were supposed to release, I think, last week, but it looks like they're releasing on the 25th now. It's the uh, Gel NYC 2055. It looks like an adaptation of the Gel NYC. And uh, there's something about this one that's just not doing it as for me as the original NYC. I think the the colorways look nice, but it's just something about it. It's just not doing it for me. It just feels a bit too sort of smoothed out. And uh, contrary to popular opinion out there and on YouTube, I've seen a lot of reviews for this as well. And uh, something about this particular trainer is just not doing it for me. I do like it, like, I do like the colorway, but it kind of looks like still a Jordan 4 craft to me. I mean, it hasn't got the sort of classic uh, netting on it. I'm not a fan of the cracked leather on the toe box. And the colorway, depending on the light, you know, I've seen some of the reviews, it looks a bit off to me, so I'm not sure about these. And then you've got the uh, Air Jordan 6 Women's Paris Olympics. And uh, this trainer is not too bad. Uh, again, I think it's more sort of aimed at obviously women, but uh, again, not for me. I'm just not a fan of like gold on trainers, especially in this sort of way. And then this is uh, the wider release, as I'm assuming. Um, it's a Bad Money Adidas Gazelle Indoor. And uh, this is in the white colorway. I don't think I'll be paying the resale prices for this currently. They seem to be quite high, but uh, Obviously, if I can grab them for retail, I'll definitely be interested. Uh, I do like the Bad Bunny trainers and um, I do like the campus that he did and also the forum. And then we also have a Bape collection from Vans and this you know, has the classic sort of camo print from uh, Bape. Um, and again, just sort of very sort of standard stuff, uh, you know, sort of wheeled out from uh, Bape and Vans. And then there's two colorways for the Olympics from New Balance, which is the 990 V6 and the 997. Um, I like the 990 V6s, and uh, I think both colorways look really, really nice for the Olympics. I think with the 997, they've got like a bit of the, the gold hit, which is not intrusive, and I think it works quite well in this one. And uh, from what I saw, there's uh, also this Nike Jam Train Futura Olympic. So hopefully these uh, do come out and uh, are released uh, on that date. And uh, this colorway looks nice. Again, it's not a bad trainer, but not, not a must have, I suppose. And then you've got the recently announced stuff. So this is stuff that's coming out in the future that's been announced now. But uh, the first one that was up, which uh, they've kind of, again, wheeled out from uh, Adidas and Fear of God. I think uh, this particular run isn't doing that well anyway, but uh, it's a... It's a new version of the Adidas Basketball 1 sneaker, a uh, new colorway, and uh, obviously I'm not mad at the colorway, uh, I, I don't mind the sneaker as well, I do actually like it and I reviewed it pretty well, and then there's also a runner version which is a, a grey, uh, however the sneakers just haven't been doing that well and I've seen a lot of them on discount, and I don't see that sort of changing, unless they sort of introduce a newer model and that kind of sort of revitalizes it, I just don't see it becoming any more popular than it is now. And then there was also a pre-order announced for the New Balance Army Leon Dor uh, 860 V2s, three different colorways. Uh, I'm not too much of a fan of this particular model. Obviously it uses the same midsole tech as a 1906R and 2002R, but I just don't like the way uh, this particular silhouette looks compared to those two. Um, but you know, if you like them, then obviously uh, it's worth pre-ordering. And there's also a shock drop of these uh, white green coloured Nike Zoom Field Jacks from Travis Scott. Uh, not too much of a fan of these sneakers. The more I see them, the more I'm not not really interested in them. But uh, obviously, again, good one for a sort of younger audience, similar to the Nike Jam, uh, but just not doing it for me, I'm afraid. And also just recently announced as well as the Deadpool and Wolverine Adidas Rivalry Low. Um, they're more for, you know, people who are sort of into this sort of stuff to collect. But again, not for me. And then you've got the uh, Air Jordan 9 Black Olive. So this is like the first official picks. And uh, this sneaker, I, I actually like the way it looks because it obviously looks more like a boot, you know, like a Timberland boot. And uh, not mad at the colorway. I think it's all cool. 
but it's just whether you're happy wearing Jordan lines, I guess. And then there's also the sort of official pictures of the Jordan 3 black cement, which I think will sort of follow in line with the white cement and fire red uh, colorways that released, which were sort of more true to OG and slightly sort of had sort of thinner collar lining and things like that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to grab a pair of these as, as and when they can come out. And then also we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Game Royal. So this is another pick that was shown, but this is this to me looks like a, a GS version. Um, I'm assuming that there will be obviously adult pairs coming out as well, but the Game Royal colorway looks nice. Uh, it's got that sort of Chicago color blocking as well. So I'm a, I'm a fan of these. And uh, again, look like the Travis Scott Frank fragments in terms of color palette. 